Right, this is the, uh, the house I'm going to work on to begin with. I'm just going to do quite a simple sort of garden with this one. I'm going to have a little patio at the back and the rest of it will just be sort of a mown lawn and then there'll be a, uh, a garden shed at the back because I managed to uh, revive my scale dale garden sheds. Here they are. They think they're pretty good little things. So I'll, uh, I'll put that probably somewhere like there and then uh, get the paint out, do a bit of patioing and then just do the rest of it with uh, this static grass that I had left over from the old layout which is pretty good stuff and the uh, absolute sort of vital thing for this is a puffer bottle or something similar I've got this, uh, this NOSH static grass application bottle this is brilliant, it cost me about two pounds or something and you just put all the grass in the top of there and then just puff it like that on the uh, surface and then when it hits the glue it all just uh, sticks up goes all static and looks like real grass Right, I've decided uh, to concrete this bit so uh, just paint a little bit in there all up to the door I'm just going to go all the way along here to the, uh, the shed and the lawn will run up here Right, I've painted the uh, concrete and uh, I just drew a line along uh, where the edge of the shed was going to be just there so I know uh, where the edge of the shed comes to so I don't end up putting grass underneath the shed which then means it doesn't sit properly so uh, I'll just run a load of glue over that and then get some grass into the applicator bottle thingy and uh, that garden will be almost done Right, this is the uh, special little nosh grass bottle thingy so uh, just put a little bit of grass in here, we're not doing a very big area, it's just a, a bit of lawn at the moment. Obviously I'll do more later. Oops. So uh, just put a bit in. Never really want to fill this up to more than half, otherwise you can't really shake it and get the, a charge on the grass. And it clogs up the nozzle as well when you're trying to get it out, so just put a little bit in. And uh, I wouldn't recommend trying to pour this in straight from the bag, because uh, I tried that a minute ago and it made a bit of a mess. So uh, I'll put some stuff in a pot, that means you don't waste as much. And it's quite handy as well to have a small sort of little uh, dust hoover or something, little computer parts hoover, so you can actually recover some of the grass if you uh, use too much on the area you want to do or something rather than just using the normal vacuum cleaner and uh, sucking up a load of grass that you could have used. So just put the, uh, the filter on like that and then put the lid on it and give it a bit of a shake and then uh, it's good to go really. right okay here we go you just uh, puff it on the area you want to do and then just keep going until it builds up to the thickness that you, you're after there we go it's a little bit more right you want to try and get a sort of bit of pressure behind what you're actually spraying on to push it into the glue. There we go. You can see why I was uh, suggesting you get a, a small hoover or something because we've lo we've wasted a load of grass around here and there's a load here and if you can't recover that then that, it's a bit of a waste really. I mean, uh, I've had this grass for ages and because I hoover it up afterwards and reuse it you know I haven't had to buy any for yonks so look after your grass. Right, finished it a nice little uh, simple garden, I think it looks quite well. Might add a few extra things like perhaps a washing line or a barbecue or something. And you've got uh, concrete and a shed. The uh, glue underneath the grass is still a bit wet which is why you can still see a few patches of white shining through but once that's all dried it goes clear and then there's just the grass left and uh, it's difficult to see but it's already sticking up nicely. So uh, when the other gardens are done it'll be pretty good. And uh, I've saved the grass as well, I saved, managed to save all that grass which could almost do another garden. So, uh, yeah, 